Hi, this is Linda Aram with Traveling Flamingo. Today we're going to be comparing two cruise lines. There are so many different cruise lines to choose from and each has its own benefits and drawbacks. Celebrity and Princess Cruises are two big cruise lines that we're going to be comparing, looking at some key areas, including food, value, staterooms, and more. We want to make sure you have all the information to help you plan your vacation. Stay tuned for all that and more coming right up. So today we're going to be comparing eight categories for each cruise line. We will start with princess and then celebrity and we'll tell you the winner for each category. The first area we're going to start with is food and drink. Personally my favorite. <laughs> this area is a big part of cruising for me. I love trying different foods and dining at different restaurants. Both cruise lines included some beverages like lemonade, coffee, teas, and a few other juices in your cruise fare. So let's get started with princess. For the included dining, there is the main dining room where you can choose between traditional dining or anytime dining, which allows for a bit more flexibility. We enjoyed the main dining room and the options they had from lobster to steak and bake, baked Alaska. The buffet was also included and we thought it was a very good variety and we felt it was very high quality. The food was really good. There were a couple of locations included like the pizzeria, burgers, the hot dogs, and soft serve ice, ice cream as well as Linda's favorite, the International Cafe on Princess. For specialty dining on board Princess, there are a few restaurants and most cruise ships have one or two to choose from. There's the Crown Grill, which is the steakhouse, and the Sterling Steakhouse, another steakhouse, the Bayou Cafe, Sabatini's Italian Restaurant, the Salty Dog Gastropub, which I would like to try. We haven't actually tried that one yet. We found there was a nice quality and good experience at the specialty dining. For the food on Princess overall, the quality was pretty good, but there wasn't really a huge selection. Princess does have a dress code in all the dining rooms, no shorts, pool wear, or sandals. You can wear jeans, but they must be not, they must not be frayed. This is similar to Celebrity, and we have seen people being sent back from the main dining rooms for wearing shorts and uh, not long pants. Uh, this actually happened to me once, and uh, I did not enjoy it. I really like did like that baked Alaska in Princess's main dining room. I still can remember it today. So let's take a look at Celebrity Cruises dining options. On Celebrity Cruises newest class, the Edge Series, they have upped their main dining room experience. Instead of having one main dining room, there are four different MDRs that are all included. Each has its own theme and special menu as well as the MDR menu. And that will be available in all of the MDRs. Like Princess, you can have a set dining time at a set restaurant, or you can select anytime dining. Even if you do choose a set dining time, you can move it and try different MDRs, so be sure to let your server or hostess know. We love the food and that we had in most of the MDRs. My favorite was Cyprus. You cannot go wrong with Saganaki. Aaron's favorite was Tuscan, which was the Italian-inspired Italian MDR. The Buffet on Celebrity also has a nice selection of foods and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They had lots of made-to-order options as well as lots of international selections. One thing that we did not love about the buffet was that the times during the day that it was closed to get ready for the next meal service. And that was a bit hard for us because I do like popping in to the, on our way back to the room to get some fruit or a small snack. So it was a little annoying when it was closed and we couldn't do that. And there are a couple other included dining options like Cafe Al Bacho, soft serve ice cream, and the mass grill for poolside eats, as well as Eden Cafe does a breakfast. On Celebrity Cruises, there's a good selection of specialty ref restaurants that offer unique dining experiences. Some of our most unique dining I see has taken place on Celebrity Cruises. Eden Restaurant is an entirely different kind of dining experience and it's for people who are maybe on the more adventurous side of eaters. There's a rooftop garden, sushi on five, the long club, grill, and more. If you're on a longer cruise and willing to pay for some specialty dining, you will not be bored on Celebrity. We also could not complete the food and drink section without mentioning Celebrity's Magic Carpet. This unique feature is on the edge class of ships and allows you to relax with a drink while hanging over the edge of the ship. My favorite was actually when the Magic Carpet was on the lower decks while you were sailing. It was really cool to be right over the water. So overall in this category, 
I think we think celebrity wins. And I would even go as far as to say, specifically in both included and specialty dining categories, celebrity's the winner. The four main dining rooms that you can rotate between are all really great. There's a unique portion of the menu and theming. So basically when you get to the menu, you can have a, you know, Tuscan themed meal and that's all there for you. The specialty restaurants had great quality and we're unlike any other dining experience that we had at sea. I just want to pop in here and say thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed to our channel. We have tons of videos about cruising and different ships and different tours and everything you can imagine. Uh, when this video is done, please be sure to check out our channel. Thank you very much. Our next category is staterooms, and depending on the ship you are on in this area, you might see a lot of differences. Both have a lot of options for the categories of staterooms and have some similar features. Storage, no matter what cruise ship you're on, is always a little tight, and the rooms have been updated with lots of outlets on, in our experience on both cruise lines. Starting with Princess Cruises, the rooms feel pretty standard and traditional. The rooms do have a mini fridge, which is really nice. The closets face the washroom and have a space for your suitcases as well. We found there wasn't much space on the shelves or drawers, so do be aware of that. There is a TV where you can enjoy a good amount of channels and new movies and play the movies Under the Stars as well, which comes out the day after it's on the, uh, the ship. <laughs> the balconies have two chairs and a table, which is standard, and it's all pretty much standard. And I think, I mean standard in the way that it is classic. It is what you would expect. It is very much back to the origins of cruising. It's focusing on the basics and it's focusing on the doing those basics really, really well. And I think that's something Princess does. Yeah, Aaron, I would agree. I wouldn't say anything necessarily stood out to me, but those basics are done very well. So on to the staterooms for a celebrity. They have tons of options for staterooms, including solo travelers. On the new Edge class of ships, Celebrity emphasizes how they have large washrooms and more spacious cabins. We did find the washrooms were pretty big, which was nice, and they did a good job with the rooms, incorporating a lot of storage space, and you can put your suitcases under the bed. The feel of the rooms was very modern. Something that we were not a fan of was the infinite veranda, and you can check out our video to learn more about that. I was not a huge fan of the infinite verandas. If I had the option, I think I'd get a regular veranda. So if you are booking on an Edge or Apex uh, class ship or beyond in 2022, uh, I would suggest just getting a regular uh, veranda and a regular balcony. But uh, it was unique and it was different, but just not my favorite. So overall, we had a hard time picking a winner for this category. We had a lot of discussion about this. As we said, Princess does the, you know, traditional cruising very well. And Celebrity has brought in some really great new modern features. So actually, in my ideal world, it would be a combination of rooms from Celebrity and from Princess. I'd have the room from Celebrity with the new features they've included and the larger washroom. But I would take a balcony from Princess. When choosing a cruise, another area which we can which can really affect your experience is entertainment. Some people choose to get very involved, while others like to do their own thing, me specifically. <laughs> Both cruise lines have a lot to choose from. Princess has a lot of unique and custom stage shows. They put a lot of effort into these and people who sail with them again and again because their stage shows are so great. There's also a lot of great live music and all over the ship, very many, but basically everywhere you go on a princess cruise, there will be live music. Lots of the entertainment is included at no additional cost. We like the TV based entertainment as well. And all, always started our day with a wake show, which reviewed activities from the day before and gave us highlights to show us what was going on on the ship. They have some activities for families like an egg drop challenge, as well as movies under the stars. On one of the sailings with my family, we got to watch a movie with Movies Under the Stars, and we went and got popcorn. However, each of us decided to leave one by one until my dad was there with the last one enjoying the movie alone. We had a good laugh, and that's definitely something we remember for a long time. Celebrity Cruises has lots of fun ac family activities to get involved in. There are ping pong tournaments, deck games, and crew versus passenger volleyball. 
The club is a multi-purpose space where activities are happening all times of the day, including deal or no deal, trivia, and our favorite, archery. I had no idea Aaron was so good at archery. <laughs> There's also lots of live entertainment throughout the ship that you can enjoy. Whichever one you prefer will depend on the kind of trip that you want. I loved all the family-friendly activities that Liberty offered and participated in more than I had ever done before. And that's saying something when I participated in some of, of these events. I usually prefer to watch more than be involved. Regardless of the cruise, you can find what you're interested in as both have lots of options. Now on to our fourth category, ship features and amenities. Both cruise lines have state-of-the-art ships as well as some older ships. However, you can expect a smooth cruise regardless of the cruise line you are sailing with. Internet might be one of the most important things that all of us have on a ship these days. <laughs> when it comes to Princess, most of the non-modern ship, if you're not on a ship built in about 2020, then you're going to have slower, slower, slow internet. Same with the Celebrity. If your cruise line is also not built in 2020, <laughs> you will also have very slow internet. On the more modern ships, the internet is quite fast and you'll be able to do stuff like live streaming and Instagram and so forth. If all you need to do is upload a couple photos to people, you can do that. It will just take way more time than it does at home. When sailing with Princess Cruises, it's more of a return to traditional cruising. There's a lot of classic entertainment like pianists and musicians. The ship has lots of large and open areas like the piazza, which is nice for events, dining, and people watching. There are lots of areas uh, to sit at, relax, such as pools and hot tubs. In terms of towels, you can get as many as you want, which I do like. I always hate it when they sort of treat you like you're going to steal the towels. <laughs> You, all, you're, you aren't worried about returning them to a specific area and you have your card scanned at the end of the day because they always feel like you're going to steal them. For Celebrity Cruises, the ship features have a much more modern feeling. You notice it right away when you say, see the newest ships with the magic carpet hanging over the edge as well as the art as you walk through the ship. This was definitely some of the most unique art I've ever seen on a cruise ship. Similar to Princess, there are a lot of open and large spaces for gathering. The Grand Plaza in the middle of the ship serves as a similar purpose as the Piazza on Princess. There are restaurants, bars, and entertainment events held here. Similar to Princess, this is uh, there are no restrictions on pool towels, which as Aaron said is nice. An area where Celebrity did excel, it was in the fitness space. Their gym was huge with fantastic views. I know there are some people who wish that this space was used for a bar or restaurant, but I really did love working out with those great views. Some of their ships actually even had the gym open for 24 hours. So whenever you felt the urge to work out, you could. And I think that was really cool that they had a focus on fitness and health as well. So in terms of a winner, both cruise lines have all the basic amenities that you would be looking for and use them to create a different feel. If you're interested in more classic cruising, then Princess wins. But if you want to experience more modern feeling, then Celebrity would win this category for you. I did really enjoy Celebrity. I felt as though their modern ships are very new, very modern. Uh, again, I didn't love the Infinite Veranda, but uh, we have a video about that if you're interested. One category which we get asked a lot about is the kids and teens options. Both cruise lines have programs starting for kids from 3 years old to 17, and kids must be potty trained. Princess Cruises has some really nice and pretty big kid areas. There are not always a lot of kids on Princess Cruises, it's usually kind of more older adults, so it's a nice way to meet other kids on the ship and participate in different activities. In terms of Celebrities Kids program, I would actually have to say we were pretty surprised with how small it was. They clearly did not want to use up a lot of space on the kids area. With Celebrity Cruises, we were actually a bit surprised, well, really surprised at how small the kids area was. They clearly did not want to use up space on the kids area. One of the pros with Celebrity is that you can pay for in-room babysitting for your kids if you want to enjoy dinner or a night out. But Princess definitely did have some beautiful windows and a nice area in their kids space where Celebrities just sort of felt like it was in the basement. In my opinion, I would say that Princess wins this category. However, Celebrity does have some really good like 
autism specific uh, programs. They do have some very specific programs if you have a child uh, with specific needs. And so check out them if that's your case. They have dedicated a good amount of space for kids on Princess. Our friends' kids have participated many times in Princess Kid programs and absolutely love it. On to our sixth ca category, ports, excursion, and enrichment. Both cruise lines have a large fleet of ships of varying sizes, so they have lots of itineraries to choose from. So the odds are if there's a destination you are interested in, both cruise lines will have an option for you. When it comes to excursions, both are going to be expensive. However, the benefit is that there is a guarantee that the ship won't leave without you if there are any delays. And we actually did experience this once where we fortunately were on an excursion with the cruise line and the train was running an hour late. So the, the ship did wait for all of us. While staying on Princess, we really liked the enrichment opportunities they had. There is a large focus on a better understanding of the ports and the countries that you'll be sailing to. For example, in Alaska, we had a naturalist who explained to us the ecosystem and what you'd see at each port. They also told you the best free trails to hike and where to go on the ship for great views. When we sailed with Celebrity, they didn't have as much. Uh, what they had was really kind of a push to sell more excursions or to push to sell the, you know, the excursion plan. This could have just been our sailing because this was just after COVID. Uh, however, we did notice that uh, there was sort of a, they didn't really tell you much about the port per se. They told you more about like what they sold in terms of excursions and offers. For this category, for us, the winner is Princess. If you are planning on cruising for sightseeing or to learn more about different countries and regions, then Princess will have lots of opportunities for that on your sailing. One area of the ship which is very popular and can be very expensive is the spa. Both cruise lines have spas depending on the ship, and they also have thermal spas, again, depending on which ship you're on. Princess does offer lots of treatment options. Their newer ships have some great looking thermal spas. In our experience, we weren't really blown away by their offerings though. For Celebrity, they do have a really nice looking thermal spa to walk through, but personally, I didn't think it was all that great. They did have the sauna and a couple cooling showers, the salt rooms and everything, but I felt without a pool or hot tub, it wasn't really for me. I didn't find either cruise ship had a really great spa, and I would say that between the two, they have a tie. NCL had a great spa. So just if you're if you're planning specifically on spa, maybe go with NCL. Massages also cost so much on a cruise ship. I'd rather save the money and spend it on an excursion and get a massage at home. Overall, both Princess and Celebrity are similarly priced from the perspective of your cruise fare. That said, Celebrity generally includes free drinks and Wi-Fi on their ships, which may give a leg up to them. But Princess is overall a really great cruise to sail on. Maybe the hardest part here is to give an opinion. Both Celebrity and Princess have older ships. Alaska specifically is one of those places where a smaller and more intimate ship matters way more and Princess really shines there. I'd say it's a draw between the two of them, but for those of you who may want more information, here's the pros and cons for both. With Princess, for destinations like Alaska or Europe, Princess is really great enrichment. The experience they provide gives you a glimpse into the day-to-day -day and amazing history of countries. Overall, they really put a focus on enjoying the trip that you're on and making it as relaxing, uh, relaxing as possible. Princess really does focus on enrichment and they really do focus on you enjoying a cruise vacation. Celebrity isn't as strong on the enrichment area as we see on Princess, but they do have slightly more modern ships, and I would say their food rivals Princesses. Overall, I'd still give the edge to Princess specifically for Alaska-based travels, but beyond that, Celebrity should be on our top five list. Overall, if you are going to Alaska, Princess has maybe some of the best excursion options that you could possibly have on a cruise. Other than that, if you're within the Caribbean, their ships are, are much older. They don't have very many Caribbean ships. Uh, Celebrity, for instance, is the edge that's sailing in the Caribbean, and it's a great modern ship with great food. So I would say if you're going specifically to Alaska or Europe, look at Princess. 
If you're looking at uh, the Caribbean, if you're looking at also Alaska, but for whatever reason, celebrities better <laughs> go with that. And uh, it, I think you'll enjoy it. But overall, I'd say celebrity is great for most of your general uh, destinations. And I would say that Princess is great for Alaska and lots of specific places in Europe. We know that this is a hard decision to choose between the two cruise lines. So we hope we gave you some information to think about and help with your decision and, you know, decide what kind of cruise you're looking for as both can give you a very different feel. But thank you so much for watching our video. And if you made it till this far, we really appreciate it. And maybe you'd be interested to see some more of our content. We actually have a brand new channel we just recently launched called Flamingos in Wonderland, where we focus on Disney content. So if you're interested in a little bit more of us, feel free to check out that other channel. Thank you to everybody who have liked, subscribed, and follow our channel. It does mean a lot to us as we're still growing. So thank you so much. If you have any thoughts on these two cruise lines, which one is your favorite? Have you sailed with one of them before? Is there a different areas that you would like to add some ideas on? Please let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thanks again for watching and happy travels. Happy travels.